The Rabbit R1, once celebrated as a cutting-edge marvel in the tech world, is now embroiled in a scandal that has left experts and users alike in utter disbelief. What went so disastrously wrong? Imagine flaws so severe that they allow anyone to view every message ever sent, alter messages in transit, and even bring down every Rabbit R1 in existence. It sounds like a nightmare, but this is the harsh reality. Intrigued? You should be. Let's delve into Rabbit R1's catastrophic rookie programming mistake and uncover the shocking details behind this unprecedented tech disaster. Chapter 1 What is Rabbit R1? The Rabbit R1, a cutting edge AI powered personal assistant device, made waves when it was first introduced to the public. Developed by Rabbit Inc. and designed by Teenage Engineering, the device promised to revolutionize the way we interact with technology. With capabilities ranging from web searches to media control, the Rabbit R1 aimed to become an indispensable part of everyday life. However, a catastrophic rookie programming mistake has overshadowed its promising debut, raising serious concerns about the company's development practices and the device's security. What went so disastrously wrong to turn this promising gadget into a source of debate and criticism? Could the immense hype it created be one reason for its dramatic fall from grace? Chapter 2. The Rise and Hype The Rabbit R1 first caught the public's attention at CES in January 2024. Despite initial skepticism from some quarters, including this author, who found the device utterly useless, and the CEO's presentation riddled with cringe buzzwords, the R1 managed to generate significant hype. Pre-orders sold out within minutes, suggesting a strong market interest in this new AI-powered gadget. With its sleek design and advanced features, the Rabbit R1 was poised to compete with other AI-driven devices in the market. It featured a 2.88-inch touchscreen, a powerful MediaTek Helio processor, 4 GB of RAM, and 128 GB of internal storage. The device also boasted an 8 Nethali P camera, dual microphones, and a speaker, allowing for seamless interaction through voice commands and touch inputs. Its integration with various online services and the ability to perform tasks commonly associated with smartphones and smart home devices made it an attractive option for tech enthusiasts. Chapter 3. Unveiling the Catastrophic Flaw However, the initial excitement quickly gave way to disappointment and scrutiny. As more details emerged, the Rabbit R1 was exposed as little more than an Android app wrapped in custom hardware. Its origins in crypto and NFT ventures raised eyebrows, and upon delivery, users found the device even less functional than anticipated. The turning point came on June 27, 2024, when a group known as Rabbito, dedicated to reverse engineering the R1, uncovered a catastrophic flaw in the device's code base. The developers had committed an inexcusable error, hard coding API keys directly into the code. Chapter 4 Understanding the Security Implications The exposure of these hard coded API keys affected several critical services, including Eleven Labs, Microsoft Azure, Yelp, and Google Maps. While the exposure of any of these keys posed significant security risks, the key for Eleven Labs was particularly problematic. Eleven Labs, an AI text-to-speech platform, is integral to the Rabbit R1's functionality, converting text responses from the language model into speech for users. With the key exposed, the implications were staggering. Unauthorized access to all historical responses from the Rabbit R1, the ability to alter messages sent to users, and even the potential to brick or render every Rabbit R1 device inoperable. This security breach underscored a profound failure in Rabbit's development practices, highlighting a critical lapse in their approach to software security. It's crucial to note that this breach was not the fault of Eleven Labs, but rather a glaring oversight by Rabbit Inc., which failed to safeguard essential access keys. The real question now is, how could such an avoidable mistake slip through the cracks at a tech company? Chapter 5. 
root causes and development practices. While details are sparse, it seems unlikely that the API keys were included in the Android APK, which would have been an even more egregious error. The more plausible scenario involves an internal leak, possibly an employee extracting the code onto a USB drive. This situation draws parallels to other high-profile leaks, reminding us of the risks whistleblowers face. The case of Julian Assange, who recently regained his freedom after leaking information about war crimes, serves as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of such actions. Chapter 6. A Lesson in What Not to Do But apart from this mistake, perhaps the most shocking aspect of this controversy is Rabbit's response, or rather, their astounding lack of it. According to Rabito, the company had been aware of the exposed 11 Labs API key for a month. Instead of addressing the issue immediately, Rabbit apparently chose to ignore it, hoping the problem would simply disappear. This approach to cybersecurity is not just negligent, it's potentially disastrous. In an era where data breaches can cost companies millions and irreparably damage user trust, such cavalier attitudes towards security are inexcusable. Chapter 7. The Dangers of Hard-Coding API Keys The Rabbit R1 controversy is a textbook example of why developers should never hard-code API keys into their code base. This practice poses significant security risks, as exposed code can instantly compromise the keys, granting unauthorized access. Furthermore, hard-coded keys make key rotation, recommended every 30 to 90 days, cumbersome and error-prone. The lack of encryption for these sensitive keys exacerbates the problem, as unencrypted keys are vulnerable to breaches. Tools like AWS Secrets Manager offer robust encryption, adding layers of protection even if server access is compromised. Additionally, proper key management systems provide crucial auditability, logging access attempts to quickly identify potential security breaches or internal leaks. Chapter 8 Best Practices for API Key Management To avoid the pitfalls that ensnared Rabbit, developers should adhere to best practices for API key management. Firstly, API keys should be stored as environment variables rather than hard-coded into the codebase. Utilizing secret management systems designed for securely storing and managing sensitive information is crucial. Regularly rotating API keys, preferably through automated systems, ensures keys remain secure. Encrypting sensitive data, both in transit and at rest, adds another layer of security. Adopting the principle of least privilege by granting only the necessary permissions to each API key minimizes exposure. Finally, Consistent monitoring and auditing of API key usage and access logs help quickly identify and address potential security breaches. Chapter 9. The Future of Rabbit R1 But apart from all these theories, as of now, Rabbit has rotated its API keys, mitigating the immediate security risk. However, the long-term implications of this controversy on the company's reputation and the future of the R1 device remain to be seen. For current Rabbit R1 owners, the situation is concerning. While no catastrophic data breaches have been reported, the cavalier attitude towards security demonstrated by the company raises serious questions about the device's overall safety and reliability. Chapter 10. A Wake-Up Call for the Tech Industry Totally, the Rabbit R1 controversy serves as a stark reminder of the importance of robust security practices in technology development. It highlights the potential consequences of cutting corners and emphasizes the critical need for transparency and swift action when security issues arise. As we continue to integrate AI and other advanced technologies into our daily lives, companies must prioritize security and adopt responsible development practices. The Rabbit R1 saga should serve as a wake-up call, not just for startups, but for the entire tech industry, urging a re-evaluation of priorities beyond speed to market. Neglecting fundamental security practices, as evidenced by Rabbit Inc., can result in significant repercussions. In the realm of technology development, security must always remain a top priority, never an afterthought. 
What are your thoughts on the Rabbit R1 controversy? How can the tech industry better safeguard against such lapses in the future? Share your opinions in the comments below and we will meet soon with another informative video.